On September the 11th, 2001, the world changed when members of Al-Qaeda hijacked passenger planes, slamming them into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and a field in Pennsylvania. Now, a few days later, the U.S. Congress passed a sweeping new law called the Authorization for Use of Military Force, the AUMF. It provides the president with broad authority to, quote, use all necessary and appropriate force against those nations, organizations, or persons he determines planned, authorized, committed, or aided the terrorist attacks that occurred on September the 11th, 2001, or harbored such organizations or persons in order to prevent any future acts of international terrorism against the United States. Now, it's important for you to hear the actual language of that law because it shows just how you can justify certain US military and intelligence activities around the world if there's a connection somehow with Al Qaeda. Now to Somalia. We know the US has recently increased its on the ground military activity against Al Shabaab forces in support of Somali and African Union forces. But up until now, those activities have mostly been justified as being in self defense. Some analysts have pointed out that it's now a pretty thin legal justification given that the US appears to be actively involved in battlefield situations. So now, the New York Times, citing unnamed US officials, says that as part of the president's regular, regular letter to Congress listing updates to current US military operations abroad, he will include al-Shabaab as part of the groups defined under the AUMF law. If that happens, it will provide U.S. forces soon to be under a Trump administration more power to actively pursue al-Shabaab using, quote, all necessary and appropriate force. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.